A driver captured a high-speed police chase whizzing by Thursday afternoon. The suspect is armed with a rifle or a shotgun. Waukesha County Sheriff's deputies in hot pursuit of a 37-year-old man police say had just opened fire in a parking lot of a water softener business in Heartland. And he's going to be a former employee of uh, Gunther and Fryer. That suspected gunman headed to his home in Sussex. You see that many guns? Like, that's scary. Where he shares a wall with this terrified neighbor. What if he's shooting at the cops or the cops are shooting at him because it's going to come through, it could come through my wall and hit me. So, I mean, I sat over over there on the floor trying to put as many, like, pieces of furniture and walls between, you know, myself and his wall. You over barricaded there. yourself in your own apartment. I mean, I wasn't allowed to get out per the police. Meanwhile, SWAT moved in. Snuck back here underneath here so that no one could really see me. Nicole Bartelt hid in her gazebo and took this video of officers surrounding the suspect's home. They were trying to coax the guy out of his house. What were they saying? Sheriff's Department, come out with your hands up. Nothing in them. We need to talk to you. Meanwhile, Bartelt's kids were on lockdown inside Woodside Elementary nearby. She says panic set in. Texting my kids like, are you guys in lockdown? You see SWAT walking through your backyard and everybody's in armor. And at that point, we don't know that he's in his house. We don't, he could be hiding in my backyard for all we know. I don't know if he's out shooting people on a rampage. Police say the man eventually surrendered. Neighbors say they didn't know the man at the center of the standoff and had only seen him in passing. I moved to Sussex because it was safe. Like, you know, for my kids and I. So never would I ever think something like this would happen in Sussex, more or less in my, my backyard.